Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is G here. I'm out in these Italian streets um, <laughs> having a little walk. So <laughs> I have been thinking a lot about like living abroad, being abroad, and relationships. I had a friend talking to me about, you know, love abroad and some of the challenges. So I thought I'd talk about that a little bit. Are you really ready? <laughs> to love someone, fall in love, be abroad um, based on your love or even accept someone in your life. Because I've been on both sides of that. Like I had my ex who moved from France to the States to be with me. And then I moved here <laughs> for, to be with my current partner. But it's a lot of work. And you know what? Let's talk about it. about this because just um, this week we had to register our five-year-old for school and <laughs> I don't know how to do that I don't know how to register the kids for school and I was um, he's in preschool now and my father-in-law did it so I didn't have to do it <laughs> and so now when we're like talking about it I didn't know the process and I was trying to figure it out and I'm you know asking my partner and he's kind of like well can't you just figure it out and the truth is I don't even know where to begin right it's something that's so different than what I know to do from the states and like this is part of <laughs> the process this is part of the thing of being in a multicultural relationship, living in a country that isn't your own and trying to navigate all of like the details. Um, there were certain things that when there are certain things that when you are the, I guess like it's your home, you're the home, the host of your partner that you end up being responsible for. I had that responsibility with my ex when he moved to the States, helping him navigate and figure out like different things that he has to do. But of course, women, you know, we're different. We always know how to try and be more helpful. Men, on the other hand, don't necessarily get that sort of, I don't know, they don't get the memo like this is something that you need to do. And so you're always kind of like, dude, <laughs> these are things I need help with just because I don't know shit, right? And I haven't had the experience. There are things that you just don't know um, living in another country and there's things that you don't have the experience with. But as the person who is, I guess, hosting, <laughs> it's your country and your partner moves there with you, you end up taking on a greater deal of responsibility until that person becomes more acclimated, more acclimated to to what's to the environment, to the country, to whatever. I mean, if there's language barriers, that can be one thing, but there's also cultural things that even if you speak the language to any sort of um, proficiency that you don't necessarily know, one of the things that happened when I was trying to get medical cards for my kids, the guy was probably a bit racist. And when I went in there, he told me I couldn't do it. He just was like, you don't have the papers. So I was just like, okay. And I left. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I told my father-in-law, he was like, well, why did you leave? Why didn't you argue with him? And I didn't know I had to. I'm like, he told me I didn't have the right papers. I'm not sure what he was asking me for. And he was just like, well, first of all, he was full of shit. He didn't want to do his job. And I'm like, oh, how would I have known that? <laughs> just from the sake of, from, just from, from that exchange. And so he probably just looked at me, was like, okay, she's foreign. Whatever she's doing, I don't want to deal with it and go away. And that's when my, my father-in-law went up there. Same dude, same papers didn't do any of those things so yeah um 
So these are like the extra kind of burdens or <laughs> things that you end up dealing with when you are when you have like a foreign partner like you never know what's going to happen and how they <laughs> end up experiencing your country can be very different than the way you've experienced it what you know about it and how you've learned to navigate it so it's it can be heavy um because you take on these extra responsibilities for someone else a full adult that you end up having to take more care of than you would someone of your own culture. So I, I think when people start falling in love and they're like, oh, you know, it's great. And you have that magic of going somewhere, <laughs> being somewhere different and just ultimately wanting someone all of these things don't come up. It doesn't come up until you start living life and you start trying to figure out how, how to navigate said life. And sometimes I think it becomes hard for people to feel like they have those extra responsibilities and for another adult, if you really don't want them, if you don't want to take care of somebody, it is definitely not for you. Um, even in the States, when my ex was moving there, I did not realize that I was required to be financially responsible for him, right? And I mean, it makes sense. They don't want someone to come there, get citizenship or some sort of residency and then become a burden. Same thing for my partner here. But you know, we always think of that part differently when it becomes, a when it's a man. Um, but yeah, even as a woman, if you decide to have a partner move to the States and from another country and you go through the legal processes, you are technically financially responsible for that person. And if you marry the wrong person who's just out there for some cash or whatever, you can definitely get screwed. So it's, it's something to think about. It's something to be careful of. And it's something that I think a lot of people don't realize how heavy it can feel when you're responsible for another adult that didn't come out of your hoo-ha. <laughs> so it can be, I don't know. I, I think I've been feeling a little bit of that just because I'm, I've been feeling a little lost in some of the systems. And, you know, even right now I'm coming home from a medical appointment and I have been seeing the public doctors here who was like, oh, you know, I've been having some problems and they're just like, oh, you know, it is okay. Just wait and see, wait and see, wait and see. Finally books an appointment with a private doctor and they were like, oh my God, they, that should not have happened. They should not have been telling you to wait and see for, <laughs> for this amount of time. So in fact, I should have had therapies like right away when I had the problems, but that didn't happen. And, you know, it's hard to try and navigate so many details of being somewhere different, um, you know, going to the doctor, describing your problems in another language that you don't speak fluently. It's always like a challenge. And at some point you have to do these things on your own. When I became pregnant, you know, my, my partner or his dad would always be with me. But you know, you gotta put on your big girl panties at some point in time and do these things on your own and figure it all out. So as challenging as some of those things are, it's just part of the process. It, it makes you feel as the person who is, I guess, having some level of dependencies, it makes you feel like a child, it makes you feel a little frustrated um, and it can make you feel resentful of the place that you are, you know? Like, would this have happened if I were at home <laughs> and I could actually, you know, fight for myself more than I can here um, or know to hear? Like, that's the part, like the knowing. Just having like the knowledge of systems, the knowledge of how the culture works is a huge challenge. And it becomes something that 
you you either you have to learn to navigate or as sometimes you can also start to resent so honestly though i think for me like i went and got a milkshake in between um i think for me it was actually easier to be the person in charge versus the person who is the baby <laughs> even though i mean i do appreciate being taken care of in certain ways not knowing how to do things that I need to do to take care of myself or to take control and move forward can be very difficult for your ego, for your emotional and mental well-being as well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think people talk about that. You know, being kind of in these roles um, that can feel infantile or even too parental <laughs> or overbearing as two people in a relationship you know because ultimately you want to have some autonomy in your relationships and to have to ask basic questions figuring out some things that feel basic but you know what because you're in a whole nother country you have no idea how to do really can be quite frustrating and it can, it can wreak havoc, havoc in a relationship. In fact, I think that sometimes, you know, even communication in multicultural relationships gets that same thing. I know I was having this moment with my partner where I thought I was being funny and sarcastic and he didn't get it, he was being serious and it almost turned into a huge argument just because we were not having the same experience in our communication. So. These things are really, really trying because it can leave you wondering, does my partner really know me well enough? Does he understand me? Are we understanding each other? <laughs> like, what are we even doing? So it can be very difficult and you can start questioning a lot of things about your experience. Even the fact that, you know, when I was asking for help um, with the school registration and he was like, why don't you know how to do this? I was like, what the? You know, like, what the fuck do you mean? Well, I don't know how to do this. Why should I know how to do this? And so it, it's one of those things where I'm like, I don't even know where to begin. Give me some fucking breadcrumbs, some clues. And a lot of times people don't recognize, they don't recognize how their response can make you feel in, in those respects. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I really want to hear your opinions and your thoughts. Like, could you do it? Could you be the custodial country or would you prefer or would it just like not be something you want to do in those respects because when we move to other countries people always only talk about how great and fun and whatever it can be and it is <laughs> but sometimes when you're having to deal re with reality whole new game so yeah let's chat in the comments and uh guys subscribe to my channel i want to welcome my new subscribers too if you guys stay this long you get your welcome at the end guys thanks for being here with me and i gotta get home now so subscribe and uh ciao ciao for now